Escato from Fox 5 Good Day New York is my co-anchor here from WNYW. I am so, so great to have excited you. to be here. Thank you so much. But I want to know why I had to be out here dancing with the audience well, while you were backstage. Yes, uh, uh, we have the video. Actually. Oh, no, don't yeah, show yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That was just for us, right? No, no, it wasn't just for us. We actually Parents, have the video right before. Take a look at this. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. I mean... I love, by the way, top. you'll look at this video. Notice, normally it's the, everybody in the studio is dancing. You were the only one dancing there. <laughs> Everyone else was seated. Like. You know what, Anderson? I thought I was coming to be your co-host, but I want the show to be mine. <laughs> the Rosanna Scott Live show. I, like I see it. it. I see it. You were doing it. a little of the Gangnam style dance I was. I was second. doing the horse dance. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good. All right, so I saw something on Fox 5 that so freaked me out. You know I'm a big ice cream fan. I know. And, um... Soft serve is something I haven't had for a while, but then you guys aired this report about what's in soft serve ice cream. That's right. Um, our guy, Arnold Diaz, does the shame, shame, shame. Right. And he went around and he tested 20 soft serve trucks. Some were frozen yogurt, some were regular ice cream. And he found 15 out of 20 of them have very high bacteria counts, which means that you could get sick. And, and when we're talking about bacteria, we're basically talking poop. Yes. I mean, a, a, a form of poop. He actually had one woman on camera who worked behind the truck who um, had a little dripping coming right, down. Right, because you always see it drips. Dripping. Right. And so she used her finger and licked it. We actually have, we got some of the reports, so we're just going to show you this. Uh, yeah, take a look. You want to test my ice cream now? You can test it. You can oh, test wait. it right now. The operator of this soft ice cream truck didn't want to talk about our test results. Why don't you cover it up, Arnie? Cover it up. Dr. Philip Tierno, director of clinical microbiology at NYU Hospital Center, was amazed by the results of Fox 5's soft ice cream and yogurt test. Where you find coliforms, they're sort of a surrogate for fecal contamination. The USDA allows up to 10 coliforms per gram for vanilla ice cream or yogurt, 20 for other flavors. 15 of the 20 trucks failed to meet the government standard. The first sample taken from this truck had 42,000 coliforms per gram. The second taken on another day had 320,000. Do you clean your machine? Yeah, clean machine. How often? What? How often do you That's clean? every day. You can also get contamination at the spout. You see there's a little bit of ice cream still hanging from the machine. So she uses the finger of her bare hand to wipe it off and puts it in her mouth. Oh my God. I wish you would have told me that before I got I'm it. I'm sorry, I didn't see you by <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I want to thank WNYW and Fox 5 for that, for that report. So Anderson, five out of the 20 trucks were fine. Right. So I can't remember which truck we got it from. Uh. <laughs> nice. Do you want to try? Yeah, sure. I mean, mm. I want to. I told you this is going to be my show. The Rosanna <laughs> Scott. Have this one too. <laughs> wow. You have That's to watch so depressing. Good Day New York. No, I know, I know. You That's never so depressing. know. You know, all these food trucks and everything, they're very much the rage. Right. But you have to be good consumers and see how they keep everything clean. Well, let's hope clean. The, that kind of a report spurs, you know, health department to go around and do some testing. See, the thing is with the health department, they go unannounced to restaurants. Right. But trucks, they make an appointment. Yeah. So they have an unfair advantage. On, on Facebook, Vicky Lynn says, uh, if it isn't prepackaged, I don't get it. Those trucks look gross. Although Nicole says, oh, geez, people get over the germophobia. The media has made us food paranoia. You know, we tested, uh, last year on the show, we tested our phones and people's bags in the audience. My phone was covered in poop. I don't want to know. No, I mean, I'm not actual poop, but, but like some bacteria yeah. that basically boiled down to poop. And you're alive. I'm alive, so yes, yeah, I guess, but, but, but it's not something you want to eat in your ice cream. No, I know, and, I know. And, you you know. want to be careful when you're And I will not food. borrow people's phones now after seeing what's on people's phones. Uh, and the lipstick that's on lipstick counters, that tester lipstick. No, don't go you there. You do not even want don't to know go. what we found. Although about. pink would look nice on you. No, no, no. <laughs> but you, you, you know all about this health department stuff, because I didn't realize this, your family... Has a restaurant. Has a very famous restaurant. Fresco by Scotto. Right. Thank you. Yeah.
Uh, it's on 52nd between Park and uh, Madison. And I've been smelling this since you got here. What yes. is this? These are one of our staples. It just, it's for the table. No, not I'm for not. You. Can I try okay, yeah, of course. They're potato and zucchini chips smothered in gorgonzola. And Very they're good. so delicious. We brought we them to the audience, oh, great. too. Wow. But you know, we have other things there, too. I mean, this we have pasta, great. we have fish, grilled oh, meats. Oh, I could do it just with this. I have to tell you something. I have friends who come in who order a bottle of wine and this, right. and they're set for the night. Uh -huh. It's great. But we're also opening up in the new Barclay Center. You heard about uh, yeah, the, yeah, the new sure. place in Brooklyn, Jay-Z. Right. It has the big opening concert. Right. And uh, so we have a big kiosk there, and we're so excited. And I have a present for you. From oh, cool. the, the Nets like and the Barclay Center. Oh, very Hello, nice. Brooklyn. I know you're in Manhattan, boy. Very good. But I'm a Brooklyn girl, and we show Brooklyn pride. I like so that. I have a present. Although for I gotta say, this is a large. I am glad you think I am a large, <laughs> and in my mind, I think I am a muscular large. In fact, I'm more of a rather small medium. <laughs> but maybe I'll shrink it down. Yeah. I really like. It's a great. I like the graphic. It's of it, you know, though. it's hot. Yeah. It's hot now, but anyway. How long, Susan on Facebook wanted to know, how long have you been doing the news? Uh, well, I've been at Fox 5 in New York for 26 years, wow. which is a very long time. So you started when you were like five? I started yeah. when I was like five. That's good. Um, I, you know, I started there. I was a young kid. They used to call me the, the cub reporter. And then I got married to my husband, Louis Ruggiero. Mm -hmm. I had my two children there. They know every You had them at Fox 5? Well, you know what? It felt like that. <laughs> Actually, my son was born. Uh, oh, I, there's your family. Yeah, wow, this beautiful. is my family. Um, my daughter, obviously, is the one laying down. Right. Uh, it's the new improved version of myself. And uh, <laughs> uh, my son almost was born right there while I was doing the 10 o'clock news. I ch actually, I tried to keep him inside uh -huh. uh, for it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? But he, 930. 930. Yeah. Really? That's so funny. <laughs> There was actually a blog I read recently, and it's caused a huge controversy. It's been making headlines. Um, a dad blogged basically that he has a favorite son. He has two sons. One of them is five, and one is like two. Ooh. And he says in the blog that the older boy, the five-year-old, is, is his favorite. He said, I have a favorite. I'm not ashamed to, to admit it. And it has caused a huge... Uh, a huge back, backlash against this guy. At least in his family, don't you think? And uh, well, you, you would think. I mean, at some point, you wonder if his kids are going to read this when they get a little bit older and how they're going to feel about it. You know, it's one thing to think it. And, and there were days, I have to say, where uh, I, I don't have favorites because well, my kids are watching right now. <laughs> right. Uh, but there are times where one gets on my nerve right. and the other one, you know, uh, uh, like is good, is good in my mind. But I would never vocalize it. Yeah. Never. The, uh, the, the blogger is, um, is actually joining us right now uh, by Skype. Um, let me get his name. I don't, uh, what is it? Buzz Bishop. Buzz Bishop. Bishop. Hey, Buzz, it's Anderson. And then Rosanna, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hi, guys. How are you? So uh, we're good. We're good. So, did you do you really favor one of your sons over the other? You know, favoring and having a favorite, I think, are two different things. I don't favor one more than the other, but when it comes to getting out for a weekend of activity, I will grab my uh, uh, my older son. Hampers. Yeah, I, I kind of default to him as the one I'll play with. You know what? Uh, with, uh, sorry, Buzz. The um... Uh, the Skype is not working. You're, you're dropping out, so I can't really hear. So we're, we're going to move on. We're going to try to fix it. Um, we have uh, such an exciting show today. I, Carol Burnett is on the show. I know. And I don't know about you, but, I mean, for the first, from, she went off the air. The Carol Burnett show went off the air in 1978, and um, I, I was 10 in 1978. But for my entire, the first 10 years of my life, this was such a formative show for me and for so many comedians and stuff. But I remember it, what was so great about it was a show the whole family could watch. And it was like I would stay up late and I would try to stay awake for it. And I, I remember I would lie on my dad's stomach and watch it. And I remember he would always be laughing so much that my head would always be jiggling. And I was laughing so much. So I'm, I'm so thrilled that she's here and Vicki Lawrence and Tim Conway. Are going awesome. To be yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And... There's, there's somebody in the audience. Um, where is, uh, is uh, Amy uh, Nadra? Where's Amy? Okay, so let me run over here. So I understand you are actually, you're a huge Carol Burnett fan, right? Where we stand up? She does look like her. Okay, I dress 70s in honor of 
you're, you're, the, I raided her closet like back in 1978. So you're wearing <laughs> an, a special outfit just well, for her today. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? That's cool. <laughs> uh, she just means everything to me. She's yeah. um, actually um, she's been writing me letters since my husband passed away. No kidding. Yes, it was just it was phenomenal. Um, my husband passed away in July. We have three daughters. And I, I've always believed I would meet her one day, but um, I just kind of reached out to her, and sure enough, she's been writing me letters, and it was just what I needed at that time. It's only been two months. Well, so. she, she, uh, <laughs> she heard you were but, uh, gonna be here, and she uh, wanted to say hello. Uh, I know, we haven't met, I'm so excited. We're all meeting. Okay. I know, I feel like it's a big group hug here. Security guard told me, um, security guard, I got here, I think I was first in line. I got here and the security guard said, you look a lot like Carol Burnett. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just get that a lot and I just I'm have, sorry. oh no, no, no. <laughs> Spirit is just it's Thank unmatched. You. Thanks, Amy. Yeah. It just means the world Lovely to me. Lovely meeting you. you too. Right. Thank, Thank you so much. Well, uh, we're going to see you a little bit. And oh. it's just a second. <laughs> is, you mean this is it? No, 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 no. It's just beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just beginning. Okay. Uh, so I leave and come in again? Oh, no, we'll stay right here for a second. <laughs> my daughter is with me, and she was born on your birthday, April. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Eric, come over here. Yeah. We're going to go to a quick break while uh, they uh, get together. Carol's going to be back later in the show. I'm so glad Rosanna stopped by for the 15. Rosanna, thank you. We're going to continue watching on Good Day New York on Fox 5. We'll be right back with the world's smallest siblings. They're going to join us now.